when you find your why, you find a way. This is something that I teach my clients all the time, which is a very, very simple, but a very profound statement. Mm -hmm. When you find your why, you find a way. So it it's like an example of the single mom who's raising three kids on her own and she's working three jobs and people go, wow, how does she do it? And the answer is, how could she not do it? She mm -hmm. has her why to called her children, right? Her family that she's mm. got to take care of. Otherwise they might not survive. Mm. So that's an example. So, you know, it's not like I'm somebody special. The point is that I found my why to, I knew, cause yes, you're right. I started my company at the age of 30. I was living in a 300 square foot basement apartment. I had $800 to my name and, and a book on HTML. And that's all I had. I had no money, no experience, no marketing sales. You know, there was no social media, no Google, no YouTube, none of that. But the point is that because I had a why to, I had a, a deep burning desire to make a difference, to help people. I know it sounds corny, but that really was my why to. It was to help people, to make an impact, make a difference. And as Steve Jobs put it, make a dent in the universe, mm. right? And, you know, I've been able to make a little dent, <laughs> but my point is that I did, I got a lot of really bad advice. And so when I was $40,000 in debt, working out of my parents' basement at the age of 40, you know, believe me, there were, my parents said, maybe you should go get a job. And I, and there were, I'm, maybe somebody smarter than me would have got, you know, quit and got a job. But I said, no, I have that deep burning desire. I know that I have a message that's important that has to be gotten. I just need help. Mm -hmm. And so that's why, you know, now today I'm able to give back and help more people to get their message out, whatever that might look like. You know, I, you know, these are my books that I've published but I've also helped my clients publish several books that they never thought they could do. And so that's an example of when you find your why, you'll find the way. You outline the four parts of the process of, of making a millionaire, the four A's. So the four A's, the, the first A is to ask yourself what you want. Now that's mm. a cliche, right? Everybody says, oh, set your goals. You know, I've heard that a million times. <laughs> Yeah, but actually it's true. I mean, you really do need to set your goals because right. what a lot of people are doing without their knowledge is, that, you know, imagine if you wanted to drive down the street and go to the grocery store, right? Mm. And that is your goal, right? You have a destination. It's the grocery store. Well, the point is you wouldn't drive to the grocery store walk around for an hour and then get back in your car and go home. What's the point of that? You wouldn't do that, right? You have a reason for going there. You have, you know, even if you pick up eggs, milk and cheese, that's your reason of doing that. And so that is not just asking yourself what you want, but why do you want it, right? Like I was just talking about, find your why and you'll find a way. So that's the first A is to ask yourself what you want and why you want it. The second A is to affirm that what you want is already true. That is the essence of my affirmations method. Again, the embedded mm -hmm. presupposition factor of the brain. So you are a form instead of affirming. Now, I'm not saying that affirming is wrong necessarily. I'm just saying it's a phone that doesn't work most of the time. It's mm. like, it works sometimes, but most people don't believe it. And, and that was me too. I mean, that's really why I discovered affirmations. I'm going, how come I've been using these affirmations for years and I don't, I don't have anything to show for it. I, mm. And it's because I was lying to myself. You know, I, I didn't believe what I was saying. So now using affirmations, you're affirming it. And by the way, the word affirmations comes from the Latin word formare, which means to form or give shape to. The word affirmations comes from the Latin word firmare, which means to make firm. So it's ironic about that is that many people have formed a life that they actually didn't want, that they don't want. And so that is one of the reasons why using my affirmations method, you're actually reforming your life and forming a life you actually want. So that's the second A. The third A is to accept the truth of your new questions. Now, what does that mean? What that means is that this isn't magic, right? This is science. You're already doing this. Every human being on this planet is already using my affirmations method. Number one, they just don't know it. And number two, they're mostly doing it incorrectly, meaning they're using disempowering questions. Why am I so stupid? Why can't I do anything right, et cetera? Right. So the point is that when you accept these new questions, like, why am I so happy? Why am I so rich? Why am I always in the right place at the right time? Your brain's going to go, what? The thing about that is instead of doing your with the old affirmations method, you're basically what they're telling us is to bash your brain into submission. I'm happy, I'm rich, I'm successful. And you're going, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, right? <laughs> so that's the third A is to accept the truth of your new questions. And we do that using my core four formula that I know we'll be talking about. And then the, the fourth step and the fourth A, which is the most important and the one that a lot of people forget. And if you don't do this step, you're not really going to get the results that you could and should get. Mm. And that is you have to act. You have to take action. This is not magic. It's science. <laughs> so you can't, for example, you know, a form. Why did I, why am I so in shape? What, you know, why do I have six pack abs and, and I'm in great shape? And meanwhile, you're sitting on the couch eating junk food and you don't exercise. It doesn't work that way. Mm. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Right. I mean, that's what they taught us. I have to say in all fairness that we have had things that you have to say 
I mean, that I say are miraculous. In fact, in the Millionaire Affirmations book, we did something really awesome, which was we did a 14-day Millionaire Affirmations experiment. And there are real people, real stories that you read in the book of people who just did my affirmations for 14 days, just 14 days, just two weeks, and literally changed their lives. We had one woman who manifested over six figures in just 14 days using my affirmations method. Again, I'm not taking credit for this. I'm not saying, oh, I did this and I'm so great. No, it's the fact that they she changed her brain, mm. changed her results, changed her habit, and that's what changed her life. A lot of people need just a little bit of help, maybe just a little nudge you know, mm. in the right direction. It, it, he didn't come in and like change my whole life. He just gave me a couple of tips that I was missing you know, and, and that I'd spent a lot of money prior to that on trying to, trying to get in place. Yeah. But you know, just finding the right mentor, that's why that's so crucial. Finding the right coach, the right mentor, the right person that helps you that's literally in your corner.